Oh yes. All right. Let's uh, let's close out the AFC East. We should have did this in reverse order. We should have just did the Jets first. You can't end the show in the Jets. Well, we're not ending the show. Well, we still got right. the NFC. We're not in, we can't yeah. end the show with the Jets. Um, it, and I'm just doing this in alphabetical order, man. I <laughs> know. I understand, but this is <laughs> pathetic. Go All ahead. right. Th- we, this won't take long, but we, we're going to give no. them the same amount of attention that we gave everybody else. Uh, the All Jets right. went 7-9 and nine last year. Their win total this year is 7. And I want you to see the difference here because they think it's going to land right on 7. To go over is plus 175. Again, these odds are from Heritage. You can go over to sportsbookreview.com, click on odds, and you'll be able to see all this stuff, all the future stuff. Um, Over is plus 175, and under seven wins is minus 205. Um, So they they feel pretty strongly it will be seven or or lower. I will say that. But they, they they ain't getting over seven. Is what they say. It, it's going to be seven or lower. Yeah. It's going to be lower. Let's just say that. At, I would. I would think so. I would think so. To win the division, they are plus nine hundred. Yeah. Sure. Uh, Damien jumps in again. Cam is a nobody who can't stay healthy and is scared to break a nail. Eh, we'll see, brother. He's not we'll afraid see. of getting hurt. He he's gotten hurt two years in a row. Yes. Carlos Gomez said, "With CJ Mosley opting out, who is there? Uh, who is even playing defense out there?" Um, well, I don't know about the Jets. I don't know. I mean, we'll see. But uh, but here's what we got. They brought in. Uh, underrated receivers to me, Brashard Perryman and Chris Hogan. Uh, they drafted Denzel Mims, so I think they got some weapons for uh, for Sam Darnold. They lost Jamal Adams, but McDougal could be okay. I think I think they feel pretty good about him. Uh, the defense, I think, is going to be fine under Greg Williams, regardless of who is opting out and who's not. I think they're going to be okay. Uh, Le'Veon Bell, I mean, do we have issues? Do we have... Um, 100%. Like, I, you know... There's I, a really good chance Le'Veon Bell's cut by week eight. I think you might be right about that. That everybody seems to be all these fantasy whatever gurus think that he is going to pop out this year. He might have a chance to come back and be explosive. I think it's insane. Insane. I just insane. So so I don't think it is likely that he returns to elite status. I think he is pretty much done in the NFL. He went and got paid, and he ain't getting along. Somebody else will give him a chance for cheap. He'll have to play for cheap. It'll have to be cheap though. But somebody else will give him a chance when he gets cut. He one hundred percent. He could end up in New England. But he he's just gonna he's just gonna have to play for cheap for somebody else. But he, d- for some reason, Adam Gase don't like him, and we know that when the head coach doesn't like you and the head coach calls plays, you're not gonna play. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Uh, Darnold and the defense. It, look, or, sorry, Darnold and that offense cut out the turnovers in the last half of last year. Uh, look, they went six and two when they finally started cutting out the turnovers. Uh, the schedule is is a little tougher this year. Look, Adam Gase in his second season, uh, we we had uh, Matt jump in and said the Jets are five and eleven. Either Gase gets fired or Le'Veon Bell kills him. Uh, I think Le'Veon will not be there at the end of the year. I think Gase will because, as Chris has said on the show multiple times, uh, the new GM is is his best buddy. Like, yeah, they hired they. He's kind of got the name of the GM hire, which yeah. is just insane to me. It's, it's I don't think that guy's insane. firing him. No, no, no. I don't. I don't think so. Not right now. Uh, going through the numbers, by the way, offensive yards per play last year four point six. That was dead f last. Yep. Last year in the NFL, it's not good. Defensive yards per play, however, five point zero is what they gave up, and that's number yep. five in the NFL. That's pretty good. The problem is, is a lot of those defensive guys are gone. Yes, yes. Jamal that's, Adams. Aaron lies the issue with that. Sarah. Now I think they're still going to be okay because I trust Greg Williams on that side of the ball, but I I don't yeah, know I that the Greg's offense gets be fine. Uh, turnover margin was number twenty three, and that's for the entire year. If you if you look at the beginning, they were like dead last in the first eight yeah. games, and then they were pretty good in the last eight games, but they were so far behind the eight ball. Uh, but they gave up point two per game. That was number twenty three. Uh, look, I I I don't think that the Jets are like I don't think they're the worst team in the world. I don't trust Sam Darnold. I don't trust Gase. I don't like the roster. I don't like any of this stuff, but I don't think that they are just putrid. I've got them going 6-10. and 10. I've got them last in the division, but I don't think that they are the worst team in the NFL. I'll say it's that. A th- it's a 3-13 and 13 football team. They are <laughs> trash as hell. Monster X Gaming 652 jumped in on Twitch. He said, uh, just fire Adam Gase. The only noticeable thing that's happened under his coaching was when Bill Belichick trolled him by wasting time. Uh, Damien said, Jets gas all the coke, uh, gays all the, uh, wait. I don't know what to say. He said he's, de- he definitely isn't leaving. They gave him all the coke he needs. Yeah. No, I don't, I don't think he's leaving either, which is why I've told people don't bet on him for first coach fired. Just no, don't do he's it. Not. He's going to deserve it, but he's not going to get it. He's going to get a third year. Yes. 
I agree. That guy's 100%. getting a third year. Three and thirteen, I think, is is maybe a little, little out there. Go go ahead. I'm just saying, I, I've got them at six. I mean, that's still that's still under the seven, but this ain't one I'm betting. I mean, good gracious, minus two hundred five. It's that's too much. Yeah, juice. the the, the ju- what what was the juice if you go the under? Uh, the under minus two hundred five. You see, that's insane. I don't know. I don't, it, I, I, I feel good about going under. Go under, but, but I just don't want to waste money for an entire year. No, not for a minus two hundred five. I, yeah. I mean, it, where you you spend ten bucks on it, you're only getting paid back a little over five bucks. Like, yeah, I just buy a bunch of silver. Yeah, there you over go. that time, it'll be a lot more than just getting my money back. You got that right. All right, so let's do this. 